all right so welcome guys to another video and that uh, today we're going to be checking the kzm edc so actually really interesting in this one because uh this is around ten dollars um one dynamic driver as well so very similar to the edx in the configuration another budget um ten dollar kz so um quite interesting uh why they released them um, this because uh, they do have already the edx and as i've seen um, it's already quite popular um in the community so what will be the difference of this we're going to find out of course in this video looking at the box itself um it's your typical um um, kz box of course um it's the more budget um type of box very small as well so it says um 20 to 40 kHz in frequency range 3.5 millimeter jack um 10 millimeter dynamic driver and 35 um, ohm impedance here and uh build quality is mostly plastic also another interesting for me here guys is uh from what i have seen from the portrait itself it seems to be a uh, really nice um looking um i am here so it's quite interesting it might be one of the more um nice looking um kz's that we're gonna unbox here in shell of course especially in the budget range actually inside you're getting already the im and the already assembled so that's uh, you know quite interesting you're getting additional tips as well so um not your typical kz packaging i'd say so um this is the cable um if you look at the cable here so it's already that plastic um cables maybe similar to the ssr ssp the moon drops of the world uh, but uh, this might be a bit thicker compared to your usual cables so the advantage here is this might be easier to clean and also might uh, have less um, dangles when you put this in your pocket so that's one advantage and now moving on to the lobes actually this is a nice um, looking lobe here so maybe one of the more minimalist um, looking kz's um, you're getting the kz logo at the side but a very minimalist all black in design yeah i would say one of the better looking kz's for me um, so the design for me it looks really sleek so anybody can just you know pick this up and uh, be okay with the looks on this overall i would say this is a very nice looking um i am here all right so we are now uh, wearing it on the ear and uh yeah similar in terms of the overall fit compared to your usual kz zstxs yes and pro x's so quite comfortable to the ear you're getting that um i am shape so this will hold in place um, really nicely isolation as well um fairly good not the best but fairly good here it isolates uh, most of um the noise here and also the comfort for me is uh okay so a lot of people can wear this and be okay with the shape so if you're used to um your previous kz's um you will feel right at home with this and yeah looking at the looks um overall i'm kind of liking the look because of that more black design so very minimalist in design here so yeah i would say this is the look um this is one of my favorite kz's um it punches above its weight in the look um overall it's still plastic in build but uh i do like the sleek um, look of this kz overall so definitely for that price range um one of the better looking ones for me in that price range all right so let's have our first um listen and then we're gonna listen to the Cavalli tube hybrid with the grace s deck so we're now listening to let's groove earth within the fire right and from the get-go um i do think this has more bass response compared to your edx so um the bass here is a little bit more prominent in the mix so my hunch that, that this will be the more bassy brother is kind of correct in this regard so we're having this kind of a warm you type of shape to the ear so uh the bass is really prominent in the mix maybe first impressions um this does remind me of maybe the uh blonde minis in this regard or maybe the fail poppies as well so i'm kind of expecting that um the bass will be more elevated compared to the kz edx uh, but still you're gonna get maybe uh, maybe some double horns at the top here it's more in the smooth side of presentation as well so the vocals is more of a warm vocal presentation so kind of blonde like in the overall presentation and uh, because of that uh, maybe warm presentation of the vocal um th there's no shoutiness inside for me in the vocals so one of the few kz's that i've listened to that uh, is quite tame in the vocal region so looking at the bass the bass is in the boomy side here um really big in the mix and uh, there's some um, a mid bass elevation here as well so um yeah the bass is quite big in the mix um, especially in less groove earth wind and fire look at the vocals the vocals is quite smooth on um, the positioning slightly recessed in the mix but not that bad in presentation this is not a super v-shaped um you know type of presentation here maybe around 2 db 3 db less um than what i would like but uh, what i like about the vocals overall it's a uh, smooth lush in presentation so um this is more of a fun listen for me um this is not your monitor type of listen to the ear so um i would say blonde like in the overall presentation here let's go to chunky by bruno mars and let's test out more bass response here in terms of the mids region and also the bass region um, maybe one issue that i encountered is uh this might be a bit too warm of a listen to the ear and it can be a bit dark to listen to so um this far cry compared to other kz's that i've heard so far so maybe the closest one would be the fail poppy in this regard so yeah in terms of the vocal region i'm looking for a bit more um brightness clarity in the overall bass response here so yeah the bass um the vocals for me is a bit too um toned down in the mix for my liking but yeah so pros and cons there so um 
it's maybe too dark for some people but for some people you might like that it's not that hot um to listen to so for those people who prefer more of a warm vocal um, this might be something that you can consider let's try some i shot the sheriff i'm um, eric clapton so actually on top um the symbols pretty good body um the best bodied symbols that i've heard that pretty good so um it's not splashy to listen to so the symbols here i shot the sheriff i'm um, quite okay in the body overall um maybe yeah detail retrieval takes a hit here i'm um, not the best detail retrieval that you can listen to because of that dynamic driver presentation so yeah for some people uh for the ten dollar range um you might find the detail here a bit lacking in that regard let's try some september earth wind and fire so looking at the sound stage for me um, i would say above average um fairly okay in the stage but not the biggest that i've listened to so your keys ZS and pro x's will be bigger in the sound stage department um, over this one going to separation separation not that good because of the more smooth um, presentation to the ear separation is not as black and white as your maybe ba counterparts in the edx as well um the uh, presentation there is a bit more monitor a bit tighter in the presentation so the separation for me is a bit better in the edx let me be compared to the edx um the presentation here is a bit more full a bit more smooth um so for some people who prefer that kind of sound and also the bass is a bit more prominent so for those people um you might like the edc more so compared to the edx all right so we now did some measurements um in the edc and um yeah, as i mentioned in my impressions um this did remind me of the fail poppy or the blonde mini in that regard so you're getting that um base elevation um, at the bottom and you're getting that 5k elevation on top but actually if you look at the 12k it's not that elevated in the mix so uh, it's a bit more toned down in that regard you're still getting that double horns at the top but compared to your usual cases, the 12K is not that elevated in the mix. So um, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's the first time that I'm seeing something like this from a KZ. And the here, maybe because of that um, 8K uh, recession here, maybe it explains that um, sometimes I find this a bit too dark uh, in some tracks here. So yeah, this will definitely be more of a warm U type of shape to the ear. And if you look at the bass region as well, you're getting that mid bass bump as well. So you're getting that um, maybe boomy bass at the bottom, uh, kind of a blonde bass here. So um, this is very different in terms of the other KZs that I've listened to so far. Um, it's interesting that uh, you know KZ is changing up their sound, uh, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. So what the direction of um, the IEM is in terms of the KZ line. So are they now making more BCM IEMs in the future? Of course, that is left to be seen for us. So from the base um, region, you're getting that maybe small rise to around 70 hertz. And from 70 hertz, um, you're getting that um, recession to around 800 hertz um, region. And after that, you're getting a small recession to around 3K. And then after that, you're getting that um, small peak in the 5K region. And uh, as you guys can see, the, the peak is not that um, you know elevated on top. So it's one of the more toned down uh, peaks from a KZ. And after that, it goes down to around 10K. Actually, a big um, you know recession to around 10K here. And after that, it goes up to around 12K. And uh, yeah, that maybe um, 10K recession first time that I'm seeing from a KZ. All right, so uh, what do I think of the EDC? Um, do I like it or not? So first, um, it's quite surprising that uh, KZ is kind of changing up their tunings um, for their IEMs. So first time I'm seeing something like this. Um, so this might work for some people, might not work for some people. So I do think for people who's used to a KZ sound, you will find this a bit too dark um, of a listen. And uh, yeah, for some people who doesn't like a 12K, um, you might um, like this actually, um, especially if you're into maybe a blonde kind of sound. For me, it's a bit too dark uh, of a listen for me. So um, in the top end, it's lacking a bit of um, shine for me and also the bass the mid bass is a bit too elevated for me in the mix and sometimes that's a mid bass bleed as well so yeah for the, the vocals it's a bit too um, warm for me of a listen um, lack some clarity in the vocal region for me so um for me personally um it didn't work for me that much and that this won't go to my top five so yeah maybe some people um especially if you're into maybe a warmer uh, kind of vocal this might work for you but for me yeah this uh is something that didn't work for me personally so actually when i was measuring this um i'm surprised with what i'm looking at because uh, yeah first time that i'm seeing this graph i'm um, from a kz so um yeah um let me know what you think of this um have you listened to it um did you like it or not i would love to hear from you guys on um, what you think of this of course that's it for our unboxing today um if you learned something um leave a like and subscribe more content like this in the future thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next seatbelt unboxing Bye bye